Michel Barnier has branded Emmanuel Macron arrogant and dictatorial in a blistering rant live on national television in an apparent attempt to distance himself from the man he is challenging for the French presidency next year. The EU's former chief Brexit negotiator and member of the Republicans' party on Thursday confirmed his decision to run. And he wasted little time attacking the current occupant of Elysee Palace, accused him of numerous failures since his election in 2017. Speaking to Europe One, the 70-year-old claimed the COVID-19 pandemic, which has included a system of mandatory vaccinations for some key workers, indicated Mr. Macron's government didn't trust local communities, regions, departments and municipalities, which have nevertheless shown agility, efficiency and flexibility. With respect to foreign policy, Mr. Barnier, a familiar face on British television as a result of his prominent role in Brexit negotiations, regretted what he called his country's sometimes too lonely management, which lacks humility. He explained, in Europe, we must not be dictatorial, we must not give instructions, we must respect others. France must not be arrogant, it must be professional, determined, creative. In an apparent swipe against Mr. Macron's approach to leadership, Mr. Barnier, added, nothing obliges the president to act alone, to speak alone. De Gaulle, who was exceptional, managed this country in a less solitary way. The ministers were solid, supported, durable. By contrast, Mr. Barnier pledged to restore respect to political life. He said, the French who are listening to us want to vote for a project. Unveiling his bid last week, Mr. Barnier told TF1, In these dark times, I took the decision to run for the French presidency, to be president of a reconciled France. However, an Ipsos poll of 2,000 people published yesterday suggested he faces an uphill struggle to make it into the second ballot. The survey puts Mr. Macron on 24.5%, Marine Le Pen of the far-right national rally on 22.5%, and Mr. Macron on 11%, on level pegging with Greens candidate Yannick Jadot. Mr. Barnier's problems are further complicated by the fact that Xavier Bertrand, the centre-right president of the Hauts de France region, is widely seen as the most likely challenger to Mr. Macron and Muslen Pen. With less than a year to go before the April 10 first round of the presidential election, none of the former mainstream centre-left and centre-right parties, which were shut out by Mr Macron's victory in 2017, have chosen a candidate. Mr Barnier has held several French cabinet positions, including Secretary of State of European Affairs and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Prior to his Brexit role, he served as the European Commissioner for Internal Market and Services. Speaking in January, Dr. Joseph Downing, an LSE Fellow in Nationalism at the LSE's European Institute, offered a blunt assessment of Mr. Barnier's credentials, describing him as having no charisma whatsoever. Mr. Barnier was not a politician but instead a behind-the-scenes civil servant, Mr. Downing emphasized. He added, he makes Macron look like a rock star in terms of charisma.